92.7 WOBM, Ocean County's Best Friday. Good morning. Welcome to your Monday. Sean Michaels in with you. Sumo out today. She will be back with us tomorrow. Joining us right now, though, I've had lots of guests come in to keep me company today while Sue is away. Joining me right now is Dr. Catherine Campo. She is a breast surgeon at Hackensack Meridian Health, Bayshore Medical Center, and Riverview Medical Center to talk about a very timely subject. Uh, Doctor, good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. Thank you. Thanks for being with us. And, of course, it is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so we were talking, you know, just about that. So let's begin with the... uh, the big test, the mammography. When we talk about mammography, I guess we need to continue to tell people information about it because still people have questions and things. How often should a woman get a a mammogram? So a woman should start getting a mammogram when she turns 40 and she should get it every year. Okay, now when going to get a uh, mammogram, what should people consider when choosing a location? Yeah, that's a very good question. So it's important to choose a facility that is also able to offer ultrasound, breast MRI, and biopsies. And it's also important that they have breast imaging trained radiologists. Um, We have all of those resources both at the Women's Center at Bayshore and Riverview Medical Centers. Now, this I'm going to try to do this if I can here. What is 3D mammography? It's also known as tomosynthesis mammography. Did I get that right? Yes, that's correct. Nice. Okay. Well, tell us what that's all about. So the 3D mammography um, is a really great image that helps us to uh, see through the breast tissue. Um, When the radiologist is reading it, it's like they're looking at slices of the breast instead of everything compressed together. So it's really helpful for them to see through dense breast tissue and find subtle distortions. In your time being uh, involved in medicine, have you seen imagery really, you know, just change constantly, right? Oh, yes, definitely. The quality is getting much better each year. Yeah. What other technologies or strategies are being developed for breast cancer screening? So we've also been focusing on women who are at an increased risk of developing breast cancer and doing some additional screening for them. Sometimes that would include breast ultrasounds, other times breast MRIs, and then also meeting with their doctor for clinical exams. Okay, now what do we do to reduce the risk of breast cancer for those listening? So the most important thing is eating healthy and exercising, and then also staying up with your uh, gynecologist and primary care visits and making sure to get your mammograms. Now, this is something that's sort of uh, come about, at least, you know, as far as people seeing and hearing more about it, uh, genetic testing. Uh, What should we think when it comes to genetic testing and what are our options? Yeah, so genetic testing's really come a long way. Um, We have genetics counselors at Hackensack Meridian Health that are really helpful, and they're able to test women to see if they're at an increased risk of developing uh, breast cancer or other cancers in their lifetime. And then there's some decisions to be made, and and, and then you sit down with them and talk them through as far as from a medical perspective, right after they get that info. Why is it so difficult, uh, do you think, sometimes for folks to remember to stay up on these tips during, you know, for breast, you know, health? I mean, it seems like we have to constantly remind folks to make sure they're getting their testing and make sure that they're following up with their doctors. But I guess that's like anything else, right? Right. I think we all get very busy and sometimes put others before ourselves. And Mm -hmm. so it's a good reminder for women to focus on themselves and to get their mammograms. And if they contact uh, the folks at Hackensack Meridian Health, they can guide them to, you know, uh, locations and uh, scheduling and appointments and all that good stuff. Right. Yep, that's correct. Dr. Catherine Campo, thanks for joining us during National Breast Cancer Awareness Month and talking once again about how to stay healthy and different things that we can do. And uh, we hope that folks will definitely remember to do that and uh, not forget. Doctor, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Hey, we'll be back. We'll take a look at what's happening uh, as far as uh, traffic and weather. We'll take a look at that next on WOBM.